Lucia Abrasives has opened up its new manufacturing plant for coated abrasives at its headquarters in Frauenfeld. The plant was constructed according to strict ecological criteria. The new abrasives manufacturing plant will enable SIA abrasives to improve its ability to deliver and increase its flexibility. More than 1,000 process parameters are incorporated and permanently regulated, which brings the quality to an extremely high level of consistency. It is now possible to manufacture all manners of different sanding products to meet individual requirements and using the latest technical means, depending on the abrasive requirement for a particular surface, such as material removal, finish or structure. careful choice of premium materials to provide sanding products at the highest level. Today, SIA Abrasives uses only water-based bonding systems. These are mainly made with phenolic and urea resins, with additives of different dispersions to gauge flexibility to suit the application. The system is fully automatic. The required bonding agent is prepared just in time in the amounts required for each production order, so no excess bonding agent is produced. Paper, cloth, plastic film or combinations of paper and cloth are used as backings for coated abrasives. These backings give the abrasive very specific properties regarding grip and adhesion, stretch, tear resistance, flexibility and stability. The raw materials most commonly used today for abrasive grains are silicon carbide and aluminum oxide in a wide variety of forms. The hardness and toughness of the abrasive grains depend on the raw material used and determine the characteristics and application of the abrasives. The grains for abrasives production are stored in high bay racking. For accurate dosing of the abrasive grains, the abrasive minerals are first filled into a steel container from the big bags. At the start of the production process is the abrasive backing, which is supplied in so-called jumbo rolls with a width of up to 2 meters. Depending on the thickness of the backing, the supplied rolls comprise between 1,500 and 5,000 running meters, which can be processed to make abrasives. Thanks to the double rolling, Backings can be continuously fed without causing any interruptions to the production process. The rubber printing blocks are prepared on sleeves to ensure that they can be changed quickly. Printing is carried out in flexo printing using rubber printing blocks. Printing on the reverse in flexo printing fulfills many criteria. The product designation, grit grade and safety related instructions are extremely important for the user. The serial numbers ensure traceability for quality checks and guarantees. The base coat fixes the grits provisionally in the right position to the backing. 
during automated operation, the binder resin is continuously dosed and applied to the front side. Since the manufacturing speed of 80 meters per minute is very demanding, the entire process must be tailored to this speed. The feeding of the base coat is checked several times to ensure that the level of quality of the products is consistently high. The backing that has had a base coat applied now reaches the real heart of the abrasive manufacturing process, the electrostatic process. On a conveyor belt, the abrasive grain passes through an electric field. During the electrostatic charging at 90,000 volts, the abrasive grain is attracted to the backing and the bonding agent acts as an adhesive. In this fully air-conditioned room, temperature and moisture are monitored during continuous operation to ensure consistent climatic conditions. In the first drying oven, the so-called drying chamber, the base coat is pre-dried. The abrasive grains are thus roughly fixed. Depending on the formula, the abrasive remains for approximately 90 minutes at a maximum of 150 degrees in the 100 meter long oven. The size coat is applied in the glue coating machine and this coat finally fixes the abrasive grains to the backing. The binding of the abrasive grain contributes significantly to the quality of the abrasive. Depending on the product requirement, the abrasive may be painted in color in this process step in order to achieve better differentiation. In the second drying oven, the abrasive is baked for approximately 120 minutes in the 185 meter long oven at a maximum of 135 degrees Celsius in order to achieve optimum hardening. The abrasive is now rolled up into jumbo rolls. The finished jumbo roll contains up to 3,000 running meters of abrasive, which hardens completely over several hours. The jumbo rolls now reach the post-processing stage. Here the abrasive is rolled out again and then broken, flexed, moistened and cut. The new factory is the most modern plant in the world for manufacturing abrasives. The annual output of the new manufacturing plant is the equivalent of a one meter wide sanding belt around the earth. In total, capacity could also be doubled, thereby ensuring that increasing demand for our high value abrasives can also be met in the future. SIA Abrasives, your key to a perfect service.